Uh, my name is John Cao. I'm with uh, Boyette Construction. I'm a vice president of the company. The project with Stanford is a Robley Gym. It's a renovation of an existing historical building. Uh, we're in charge of the doors, frames, and hardware. Um, we working the historical door and trim assemblies. The project was actually awarded to us through negotiation based on our experience from prior projects like the Rowley Hall, which is down the street. The client was very happy with what we did. Renovation of the doors on that job and the trim, very successful due to the fact that once we were completed, the job looked like we were never there. Doors that were over 100 years old that were reworked with new ADA hardware. We felt that the architect and the owner was very happy with, with our work. Thus, when we were told that there's another project called Robley Gym that was coming out, they realized that we were the one that worked on the first job. Uh, the process of restoring a door for this project, or any other project, is one we have to put a, a design process together and then give the client what our processes and procedures are going to be to rework these doors. Once we get the acceptance from the architect and the owner, then we in turn do a mock-up opening to show them, okay, this is our process for this type of opening. Um, then the architect and the owner would come and take a look at the door, sign off on it, say, yes, this is how we want it. Then we start with the, the whole process. The restoration of the job basically entails to start out, we go in and we start working on the wood structure itself. That means taking out the glass stops, seeing in areas where we do a test if it's, a, if it's rotted, then we'll cut and route out the rotted area. From there, we start prepping the hardware, the new hardware that goes on these doors, and then prep for paint. What's unique about us as a company is that because we have different divisions, we have taping, paint, rough carpentry, finished carpentry, door assemblies, and drywall, lath and plaster. We're able to put a project like this together based on the, all the experiences of all the different trades. A lot of times, a general contractor would have to hire different subs for that five different trades to be able to put something together but we do that internally in-house and we coordinate that type of process. I felt this job went really well uh, due to the fact that we had experienced carpenters and experienced PMs communicating with the general contractor, the manufacturer and the suppliers. Um, this project would have really helped us take us to the next level on bigger projects that can come along.